What's going on guys? Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. I've done a couple of videos on how to connect a DAC to a receiver, processor and PC. Today let's go over how to set up the sound settings in your PC or laptop in order to output high-res music files up to the maximum sample and bit rate that the music file and DAC are capable of. Here are a few things that you need. Laptop or PC, DAC, streaming app like Tidal or Kubo's or a music software like J River Media, uh, J River Media Center, which costs money, but it's to me it's a one-time fee, I mean, unless you wanna keep upgrading it, right? Or FUBAR, which is free. And finally, high-res music files two-channel or multi-channel files. I like to listen to both of them, so I'm gonna cover both in this particular video. So let's start with the sound settings in your PC or laptop. We're gonna go right to the sound icon on your Windows PC and click on it. Select the DAC, so in this case it's speakers to 2 EVGA new audio, which is the built-in DAC on my PC, okay? Uh, and then, once that's selected, right-click Click on sounds, go back, go to playback, and then you can see speakers to EVGA new audio is selected. So select that um, and then hit properties, go to levels, advanced actually. And as you can see, this is the maximum bit rate and sample rate that's available on the DAC is 32 bit, 384,000 hertz, right? That's studio quality, that's what's selected. Then you go into uh, spatial audio, obviously that's off. Now, I'm also gonna go here and show you all the different DACs that I have, right? So I have what I use with the desktop amplifier, right? Like the Fosse Audio BT20A Pro or the Arillic B50 is the SPDIF connection, right? Which is your optical connection. So I've selected that, then go into sound and here it is, the SPDIF interface is right here. It's checked, you click on it, you click on properties. Here, you're gonna go to supported formats. So DTS audio, Dolby Digital. I don't use WMA Pro audio, so I have that unchecked. And then all the different sample rates that this DAC is capable of, you know, digitally, right? So all of that is selected. Then you go into advanced, and again, it's optical is only gonna give you two channels. So it's two channel, 32 bit, 192, thousand hertz or 192 kilohertz that's the maximum right that's where, where you want that to be set up now the next is my trusted my favorite it is the speakers it's the pre box s2 digital right this one so i'm going to select that right here go back to playback and look for the pre box in here uh, keep going keep going keep going keep going right there Select that, and again, that's selected. Levels are fine, advanced. See this? It was defaulted to 4100 or 41 kilohertz. That's not what you want. You want to be at 32 bit, 384 kilo, kilohertz. That's the, the maximum bit rate in the two channel mode for the pre box S2. So that needs to be, be selected. And then spatial audio obviously is gonna be off. You apply. The next one, is again one of my favorites or what i use actually for uh, you know for multi-channel music right off of the pc is the Marantz avr so i have selected that as my sound output and right here it's already checked click on properties supported formats so all of this is fine see it can support uh, from 32 kilohertz all the way up to 190 170 192 kilohertz i'm sorry uh 24 bit audio uh, that's the bit de depth DTS audio, DTS HD, Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital, all of that. You know, obviously the Marantz is capable of enhancement. I leave all of that off. Advanced, I, you have to select Dolby Atmos for home theater. Now, if you want to know how to set this up, you just have to go to the download the Dolby app um, for your Windows PC or laptop and then set that up and this option will be available. If this option wasn't there, then you can actually select uh, 7.1 or 5.1 whatever you know and however your sound setup is and then spatial audio again it's selected as Dolby Atmos for home theater in here 
all right so that one is all set so that's basically how you set up your DAX and uh, the sound output in your PC okay so the main thing now is to go into your music software or your streaming app like Tidal or Kubo's right and now you got to configure those to actually output to the maximum capabilities of your deck so let's get into that now so now that title is up um, title usually looks for an MQA device a renderer right like the audio quest dragonfly which I I have connected to my PC so I'm not gonna select that right now I'm gonna just say no keep current right all right so now that you are in title you have the sound output icon right here in title you have to click on that here you're gonna select your device right so now we are going to to use the pre box s2 because as i said title is two channel only right for your pc it's not the you don't get dolby atmos uh, through your pc on it right so this is just for two channel purposes so we're going to select the pre box s2 speakers this one right here and then click on more settings you have to do use exclusive mode because then the app controls the dac you can force the volume right which in in this case the the tidal volume will be at max level right and you control it from your external device like your receiver and then because the pre box s2 is capable of uh, uh, you know decoding mqa files i'm going to pass through mqa as it is i'm not going to decode it uh, using the the computer tidal app right so those are the settings right here so i've selected all of that all right, so we're gonna play two volts. It's playing on my my receiver, as you can probably hear it. Um, now you want to know what's it's outputting, right? So this track is 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, flag file. You go into your uh, pre box app right here. Look, that's what it's outputting. So that's what it's about, right? So you gotta set this up in the sound output menu first correctly, then in the title. Uh, app correctly to output that sound. So let's try another track really quick. Oh, here it is. Let's pick Freedom next. Ah, this is not. This is only 16 bit, bit 44.1 kilohertz, right? That's what it's playing. You can go into your uh, pre box app. That's what you're outputting. Good. One more track. All right, let's go to Ella and Bessie. It's already playing them their eyes. I'm gonna start again. Uh, this one is playing up to 24 uh, bit, 192 kilohertz. Let's check our pre-box console over here, 192 hertz, so 1000 hertz. So that's how Tidal works, okay? Now let's switch over to, to um, J River. All right, here's J River. Let's go to audio. Now, how do you set up J River, right? That's, so this is where it's actually a little tricky. J River is very tricky. So you first, let's go into the playback options. You gotta select uh, a DAC, right? So it, right now it's uh, what's actually selected is my new audio. We don't want that. We need to go to the Prebox S2 with the ASIO driver okay and then go into device settings make sure that uh, it's DSD bitstream is allowed no channel swap right so we're good here we got to go into DSP format don't want to change anything right as far as frequencies are concerned source number of channels is what you want to play um, exit from here and then bitstream, yes, DSD, okay? That needs to be the setting in here. Uh, you can do HDMI, but you know, my, uh, the DAC is not HDMI, right? So it is a DSD capable DAC, so that's what we're gonna select here. X out of here, it says save changes, we save the changes, and let's play. Stay on the run. There we go. It's playing the DSF file. We're gonna go into the the panel right here to see what's playing. There it is. 
2.8 megahertz and when I look at the the Marantz it is actually showing DSD output that's how you set up J River FUBAR which is free and FUBAR takes a, a you know there's a learning curve it's not that easy but this is to me important because uh, it allows me to to stream um, from my PC multi-channel files DSD files you know converted down to PCM uh, through, through my Marantz and through my home theater so that I can utilize my multi-channel uh, uh, surround setup right okay so I have FUBAR uh, here opened up now the, there are a few things that we have to do in here right so you have to first go into uh, your file go into preferences and in order to play multi-channel music especially you know if I have uh, downloads from um, HD tracks right that are DSD files right multi-channel DSD files you can download them as PCM as well too but but uh, but when you buy them on HD tracks you can actually select uh, the sample rate and everything that you want that file to be. Uh, you have to have installed the right components uh, onto your, you know, in, into FUBAR, right? So number one is the ASIO support uh, component. Uh, second is the DSD converter, DSDIFF decoder. I also have a DS, DTS de uh, decoder in here. Um, and then um, Let's see, what are the other ones? Super Audio CD Decoder, and then Wasapi Output Support, right? So this is also critical. So once you have all of these, now let me just see if I can update any of these drivers, right? So they're all up to date. All of these components are up to date. Now you go into decoding, so DSDF Decoder. I set it up at 176. Uh, 176 400 because it is easily divisible by the 44.1 right uh, and then you need to have the SSF DSF decoder uh, this one no need to do anything just leave it the way it is and then the DSP manager you can then kind of use this to to uh, apply more uh, you know you can apply equalizers you can apply a hard minus 6 dB limiter in here you can move stereo to rear channel you can do m many different things what I use this for uh, essentially is to down mix to you know channels to stereo but I'm not gonna do that in here right so DSP manager is fine and then output should be ASIO and then SACD this is where you want your your uh, output mode to be PCM for your PC because this is gonna go over HDMI right um, and, and FUBAR does, will, will output DSD if you have a DSD capable DAC, right? For uh, a receiver or processor, you need to set, set this at PCM, 0 dB as your volume, 176, 400 is the sample rate. You know, as I mentioned, I could, I could go higher, but 352 is not uh, uh, supported by the Marantz, right? So it's 176, 400 is the maximum I'm gonna go. Uh, Multi-stage. Uh, is the right setting over there and that's basically it right nothing else needs to be done in here that is how you set up the preferences now let's go over to a multi-channel let's find so this is Be Beethoven's testaments of 180, uh, 1802 right this I downloaded this from HD uh, tracks and um, and this is a DSD 64 so the uh, uh, basic DSD file right uh, and let's play this. Here we go. It's playing at 176, 400 hertz, six channel, and on my Marantz, it is showing 176 kilohertz as the PCM output, but best of all, it's outputting in multi-channel. That's how you output multi-channel music from your PC to your receiver and enjoy multi-channel music on your home theater system. So there you have it, right? We talked about the most, the first step, right? Is to set up your PC and your laptop correctly to output the sound, right? For that, for the particular DAC, right? Essentially, you have to select the maximum sample rate and the bit rate. And then uh, we talked about your music applications like Tidal, uh, how to actually go about and configure the DAC within Tidal so that it outputs the correct sample rates that are, uh, you know, that your DAC is capable of and it's not, uh, you know, down 
converting or it's not downsampling uh, based on how you set up the 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 sound in your PC because that will happen right if you don't set up the sound in your PC correctly uh, it will limit what's actually going through the DAC right and then we talked about J River and then finally my favorite which is FUBAR which allows you to stream multi-channel music to your receiver and enjoy your home theater you know uh, the way it was meant to be I hope you guys like this video as usual please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video uh, with others and I will see you guys on the next one